I'm going to write 105 on the label. Was there also an oxygen tank uh, that you observed at the location on June 25th, 2009? Yes, I observed several oxygen tanks. Okay, but was there one uh, actually on a, uh, a rolling dolly near the bed? Yes. Okay. I have a photograph depicting uh, what appears to be an oxygen tank on a rolling dolly. Uh, same picture showing an Ambu bag on the floor. May this be Mark Peoples 115 for identification, Your Honor? It is. Showing you this exhibit, Ms. Lee. Uh, looking to the right of that photograph, is this the oxygen tank uh, on this uh, handle dolly with wheels? Yes, it is. Okay. And then you see this uh, Ambu bag uh, on the floor kind of near the metal and glass nightstand you referenced previously? Yes. Okay. And is that as it appeared on June 25th, 2009? Yes, it is. Going back to the nightstand area. have a close-up of the glass and metal tabletop. May this be Mark Peoples 116 for identification? Yes. As well as a close-up of a 10cc syringe on the same table. May that be marked as Peoples 117 for identification? Yes. First showing you what's been marked as Peoples 116, Ms. Fleet. Can we dim the lights for a moment, Your Honor? Mm -hmm, please. This tube here, Ms. Leek, is that the uh, the lidocaine that you previously that you just had testified to is being found in this area? Yes. Okay. And we have uh, on this glass tabletop. Do you recognize some of the items shown there? Yes, I do. Okay. And do you have a pointer up there with you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, looking at the photograph uh, here to the left, are these alcohol prep pads? Correct. Okay. And this Gelco box, are those IV catheters? Yes. Okay. And can you tell uh, this box here, I think it's a uh, labeled QMS or CMS. Do you know what that is? On the right, upper right of that tabletop? I believe that's the alcohol pads. I can't see in okay. this photograph. Could they have been latex gloves? Yes, there was also some gloves at the same. Okay. On the same uh, tabletop, but from a different vantage point, uh, let me let me orient you if I can. Uh, you see this na empty naked juice bottle? Yes. And then these alcohol prep pads that I'm pointing to? Yes. Okay. Now, the next <laughs> photograph I'm going to be referencing behind these items in the area I'm pointing with the red pointer, people's 117. Uh, in this photograph, do you see the back of that juice bottle as well as to the right of the photograph the alcohol prep pads yes okay and a, a 10 cc syringe yes okay and in this photograph the syringe uh, does not have a needle attached to it is that how you found it without a needle right okay. and was this particular uh, syringe uh, recovered and subsequently booked and referenced as coroner's medical evidence number one. Yes, it was. And I have uh, evidence, LAPD evidence item 142, uh, 10 cc syringe. Uh, may this be marked as people's 
118 for identification? Yes. In People's 104, uh, again, showing where the prescription medicine bottles were recovered, uh, this bear, bear aspirin, aspirin bottle that was recovered by you? Yes, it was. Okay, and that's LAPD evidence item 150. I'm going to leave that in its plastic bag. May that be marked People's 120 for identification? 121. Runner? I'm sorry, People's 121? Yes. Placing a P121 on the plastic bag. This was recovered by you and taken into coroner's custody? Yes, it was. Also in this picture, again, although somewhat washed out, where I'm pointing in the photograph, which would be to the left of the wicker basket, is this a, a box of lotion? Yes, it is. Okay, and did you recover that? Yes. LAPD evidence item 148, Your Honor. Uh, a box of uh, Anthelios lotion. May this be marked People's 122 for identification? Yes. Could you sp spell that name, please? A N T H E L I O S. Thank you. And that is again People's 122? Yes. Again, the photographs washed out, uh, but to uh, the left of the photograph behind the alcohol prep pads, is this a box of syringes that I'm pointing to? Yes, it is. Okay. And actually referred to on the box as um, XL hypodermic disposable needles booked into LAPD as item 149? Correct. Okay. May this be marked people's 123, Your Honor? It is ourselves to the right of people's 25 do you see this wooden chair that I'm pointing to that has a uh, a jug of urine and some pads next to it seated on the chair yes okay. and in the same photograph uh, to the left of this photograph is an IV pole with an, a hanging saline bag uh, and also IV tubing draped over that IV pole is that accurate yes see as I've zoomed in on people's 25 again uh, the saline bag as well as the, the tubing draped over the pole and uh, coming down to the bottom most portion of that photograph yes and going then to people's 125 showing a close-up uh, is this the uh, the jug of urine as it, as you found it on June 25th, 2009, next to it being some medical pads? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now, the IV stand, as depicted uh, and previously shown to you in People's 25, uh, was that saline bag and IV tubing recovered on that day or a subsequent day? A subsequent day. Okay. Did you observe it on that day of June 25th, 2009? Yes, I did. Okay. And was the jug of urine uh, and the previously described evidence items, was that all recovered on that day of June 25th, 2009? Yes. <laughs> did you then uh, return... Well, did you depart the location sometime that night on June 25th, 2009? Yes. Do you know what time approximately? We could have the lights, please, Your Honor. Uh, uh, 2020. 2020, 8.20 p.m.? Yes. 
approximately. I'm yes. And did you return to the location uh, on June 29th, 2009? Yes. And that was following um, an interview of the defendant and a subsequent search to locate medical, medical bags? To search for further medical evidence, yes. Okay. I didn't catch there, it. On, on what date did you return? 6-29-2009. And that's you personally, correct? Yes. Okay, there was a search conducted on 6-26-2009 for which you were not present? Right. Now, were you, did you go to a particular location in the residence on 629-2009? Did you go to a particular location within the, the house? The same bedroom number two. Okay. And also the room directly, large closet room attached to it. Uh, large closet attached to it. In People's 19, if, if this bed I'm pointing to, the white rectangle, represents where Michael Jackson w was uh, found by paramed uh, paramedics is this closet would be to the right of the diagram? Yes. Okay, and how would you describe that room? It's a large room lined with wooden cabinets almost to the ceiling, uh, filled with clothing and shoes. I have two photographs of this closet area, Your Honor. May these be marked People's 126 and 127, respectively? Yes. looking at what's been identified as people's 126. Uh, from this vantage point, uh, where I'm pointing here with this, this archway, is this looking into the bedroom that we've identified as uh, bedroom number two? Yes. Okay. And so if you were to walk from bedroom number two where Michael Jackson was found, you would come through this archway into this large room or closet area? Correct. Okay. And looking then as you come in to the room and if you were to come into the room and turn right this large wooden closet uh, in people's 126 this uppermost cabinet does that depict uh, where you centered your search on june 29 2009 yes it is and looking at people's 127 uh, does that depict the same uh, upper cabinetry area with the doors open uh, depicting items you recovered? Yes. Okay. And zooming into that upper cabinet then, uh, does this include three separate bags that were recovered by you on that day? Yes. And lastly, uh, if I could, a close-up of that same area, Your Honor, if I could have it marked People's 128 for identification. Yes. Looking at People's 128, Ms. Fleet, uh, was that the same area from a different vantage point with a bit more of a close-up? Yes. Essentials? Correct. Okay. And a box of gloves, uh, another box, and two large bags of tubes of various lotions? Yes. Okay. 